Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all ready to start the walk? Okay, I'm walking all the way through. I have to skip my five minutes cardio. I didn't sleep good at night, last night at all. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, I couldn't do it. I tried. So I said the last time this happened to me and I ran, I was, I was tired of it. Or oh, ran 60 something. Hmm. Push the wrong way, girl. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, and I've been touching my legs because. When we first started walking, when I first started walking January 1st, I could touch my leg and feel my poor little bone. I could just touch it and through the skin, I could feel my bone. And I kept, in December, I kept touching it and I was like, wow, what is it? For so long, I was used to touching my leg and feeling the muscle. I don't feel the bone when I touch my leg. I've always had a muscle there. Sorry to do a little adjustment. If I was on big gold, they'd be done. Snatch my page off and kick me out. You can't touch breasts, touch anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so last night, and I'm touching it now, and I feel muscle. So, I appreciate y'all so much for walking with me. So much that I got my muscle back in my legs. And then my hip, it is, the skin is stretched so tight because of the muscle. The, the ham hock, <laughs> or ham shake. And it's from walking. And again, walking slow, those muscles. Now, and of course, squeeze your gut. I don't know, I shouldn't confess this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna have to keep this off because I'm in the basement. And I open the window and the window is right there. I'm not a fashion statement. I don't have like a lot of jackets, stuff like that. I mean, I'm not gonna put a dress jacket to come down here and walk. You know, I'm not going to use my good sweaters and stuff to sweat in. So this is what you see. But if you see underneath, all the tops are changed every day. Okay, but well that's... I, I lost my point. <laughs> good morning. Oh, yeah, so... I don't know what it was. But I guess there's times that you don't... You just don't sleep. But, um... So I'm not running... But the muscles from walking slow and just like casually walking. And it took like 40 days, but muscle memory and everything, and it's back. And I appreciate y'all so much because if you didn't come walking with me, I'd probably figure something else out. But anyway. <laughs> I want to give y'all your props for coming and walking with me. Yeah. I slow walking, build muscles. If you want to run, while I'm walking, run. If you're on your bike doing your thing, do your thing. If you are lifting your weights up and down for this half hour, lift your weights. If you're kicking your feet, kick your feet. And... It is so strange. My left leg misses the weight on my right leg. And it's just because I didn't sleep last night that when I got up, I was all, huh, anyway. I've never been 60 before. But I appreciate y'all for coming in the room and, and being with me and squeeze your gut. I do find out that the, the uh, harder I squeeze my core, The, the less pain it is on uh, my legs. 
So now when I go upstairs, I'm going to find the weight. I'm going to put it somewhere where I can find it tomorrow. And for the rest of the time, exercise and not to be so careless. And then I'm going to wear it the day to kind of try to balance everything out. All right? Because I'm stripping up my right leg. Because my left leg thinks that it's strong, so it wants to take all the weight of the body, and it can't. It has to share the weight equally. So, getting this right leg stronger to stand part with the left leg. Oh, I tell you, <laughs> it's a drama. But, uh, that's it. Oh, I know what I'm going to tell y'all. I used to do one of, maybe like three jobs I worked on. I was able to go to the human resource or who, if it was a small mom and pop company, go to the person that does the health insurance. And I used to ask them to not give me health insurance and give me the money that they would put on health insurance on my, in my paycheck. I registered at a clinic. And my daughter was registered at the clinic. And that was it. I needed my money. Sometimes not have no money can make you so frustrated you get sick. So I needed, I needed, health insurance for me was putting that money in my check because I needed that extra money to take the stress off me. And it worked. So I got, to, I got to keep the money that they would take for me to put on health insurance. And so I got to keep that. And then I got the money that they would give for insurance for me in my paycheck. And when I look back, I was like, that's how confident I was in, in my body. And I knew I had to take care of my body because I didn't have any health insurance. I would have to go to the clinic. But I was getting clinic treatment, paying for good health insurance. Systematic racism. It was here, it was here before I got here. <laughs> so, that's what I did. I was bold like that. I didn't, I looked where I walked, so I wasn't falling and stuff. I'm not reckless, I'm not careless, so I ate right. Yeah, so that's what healthcare is now. Let me see, I had this piece of paper over here to help me when the conversation got a little boring. I'll let you guys know when to run. But if I run this morning, it's a wrap for the girl. Oh! Okay. Me and my daughter, we were looking at clips on YouTube about the village people. It was a movie called Village People. And... They were staying in the YMCA. So my daughter at me and she says, Mommy, how old were you when you found out that YMCA was basically a, a theme song for gays? I said three years ago. <laughs> three years ago. I used to go to the YMCA on 135th Street in Harlem after school. So, there was girls there, there was guys there, so, to me, that song was, you know, and then, but I know when I went to weddings, and all my, my dates used to say, good morning, thanks for coming in, hey, he's uh, 
I'll illustrate it in the room, y'all. Check it out for the illustrated book for you. It ain't that hard. There's something to leave behind for the kids. Good morning. And I just, I found that like three years ago. But oh yeah, every time I went to a wedding and it song come on, my dates would always say, you know that's a gay song. And I would say, oh shut up. No it's not. And I couldn't understand. I said, like, why don't men always say that when they hear the YMCA? I wouldn't accept the fact that it was a gay song. So then, my daughter and I are on YouTube. And we see that there was a movie made of the village people. And <laughs> when, okay, so we looked at the old, uh, uh, like the Ed Sullivan or uh, who was it, Ed Sullivan, uh, Dick Clark, uh, Johnny Carson, village people. And, you know, the, the cop had his helmet and everything on. He never changes. Um, then the Indian and the, uh, the, the, the construction worker and the biker guy and stuff. Well, on the general shows on TV, they looked fine. Everybody was dressed, you know. The cop was a cop, construction worker was a construction worker. You just knew what... In that movie, they came out with half the clothes on. <laughs> they were gyrating and swinging it that way and putting it that way in that movie. I was like, get out of here. I didn't know that. Didn't know. The village people. I like the village. I used to go to the village in New York City. I didn't know what was... Or the village people, like... It takes a village to raise a child. But when I saw clips on YouTube of that movie, I just sat there the whole time like this. And then, in the movie, we saw Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> she had this little belly shirt on. She had all this hair on her stomach. But, um, yeah, looking at that movie, everybody should have known that Bruce was going to be Caitlyn. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, it was a gay movie and he was in it. So he was. And he was telling us, well, she... So I was shocked. I didn't know. But I know every time I went to a wedding, uh, every time I was on a date with, uh, you know, disco or whatever, and they come on the village people, first of all, my date wouldn't want to dance. That's a gay song. Let's get a drink. Really? Really? I like jumping up to the YMCA. <laughs> so... Yeah, I was shocked. I was really shocked. About as shocked as I was when I found out that the Black Renaissance, everyone said, oh, the Black Renaissance is up with so good. And the Black Renaissance is up with and, and I would read other uh, books of other writers and, uh, at, during that period, that time period. I said, why aren't they in the Black Renaissance? Why? Why, why, why isn't Jake California really in the Black Renaissance? Um, when I read about how they went after Zora, Neil Hurston for plagiarism and the whole thing like that, and they didn't come to her age, age, I was wondering, well, why didn't the authors from the Black Renaissance come and help uh, Zora Neil Hurston? And then, maybe six years ago, I found that the Black Renaissance was gay artists. Gay writers, gay singers, <laughs> they were gay. So everybody couldn't be in the Black Renaissance because if you were gay, you couldn't get in. Hey!
The girl didn't sleep last night, but she made it through the 15 minutes. Somebody say, hey, God. Oh. Good morning, Ezo. Yes. Keep the word yes in your child's vocabulary by reading, I like to say yes to your child. I like to say yes has beautiful colored pages, brightly dressed children, running, jumping, and playing. Keep the word yes in your child's vocabulary by reading I like to say yes to your child. And this is from um, Childhood Education Who Started Community Center. This is Dr. Lori, the chairman of the Behavioral and Social Service Department Professor of Early Childhood Education, Housatana Community College in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Your book can be used as an early reader since there are predictable sentences and limited vocabulary. Do you see? It's all about the yes. It's all about the yes. So order, I like to say yes today, from Archway where I get the lion's share, or Amway, Amway, <laughs> I told you I had to sleep last night, right? I tried, I don't know what happened, I haven't just got water, not even lemon, thanks for walking with me guys, oh, but since my body is already trained for that get up time, 40 days of training, it's going to get up. And I'm going to come down here and walk, um, no matter how tired I am. I did 40 days of training to get my body like that. And it has muscle memory, and it's awesome. So, I'll be running tomorrow. But, not today. You know, when you get older, you do need your sleep. What I'll probably do is do it slow. I'll take it up. So, yes, this guy's fast. He's got five minutes of cardio. Oh man, I'm so sorry. But this, I guess, this night nice that I'm not gonna sleep. But at least I know my body will get up, do what it has to do, and come down here and get on the treadmill. Okay, so what is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How to tell if your man is gay. <laughs> Brown stains on the front and the back. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Um... on Sunday. I was just always I you can't take words back. Uh, you can't take the hurt feelings that you say from your words that hurt people. And you can't strike out anger. So as my Facebook friends know when I reach that point. Okay, so let me tell you why I did it. When I reach that point, I just stay away from Facebook for a week. I had a friend named Nikki. And Nikki, you say hi, Nikki. And Nikki would, whoa, she would curse you out. I used to tell her, you don't have a razor tongue, you have a laser tongue. I was like, honey, you can't talk to everybody like that. There's a lot of people out here that's not stable. You, you can't sh -sh 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 with your words on people. So, 
Nikki is who I, we used to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge together. I used to um, walk from 23rd Street and 5th Avenue to City Hall where Nikki worked. And then we would walk across the Brooklyn, at, the Brooklyn Bridge. I was living in uh, Fort Greene at the time. So she would walk me to my Fort Greene uh, place and then she lived a little ways away so she would catch the bus and continue her trip. And I mean, just the funniest, the, the most loving, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker reminds me of Nikki. And I would say, Nikki, please, make your words softer. When you talk, try just to be softer, you know. Well, they don't, they know I don't mean nothing by it, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, no, no. So, years go by. Years go by. Maybe seven, eight years. And I worked with the Mentally Challenge in Connecticut doing recreation. And we were on a trip to Yankee Stadium. And that's during the time they had the tolls. You guys got less than a minute if you're doing your cardio. And I'm coming up to Andy Hutchinson. Or the Henry Hudson, one, one of the H's. And I pay the toll and I hear on the news that a woman was shot and killed. Uh, no, a subway worker was shot and killed this morning. A man walked over her to her. He said something. She said something to him, and he shot her. This is what I got from the newscast. Hey, the five minutes of cardio is over, right? So, I didn't do hands connected, so we gotta do that. Um, so I'm driving, and in my mind, I said, I wonder if that's Nikki and George, because Nikki was married at the time, her husband's name is George. So I said, I wonder if that's Nikki and George that got into it down in the summer. I was like, oh my goodness, I won that girl. And then, in my mind, I said, they didn't say it was her. What, what are you going on about? So I'm steady driving, get back to Connecticut, I drop all the participants off, take the car back, make my way home, and um, I get a call. And so a call said, uh, just call and let you know that Nikki was killed this morning. I was like, what? Yeah. Her boyfriend came over and said something to her. And then Nikki said something back. And let me tell you something, that girl had a razor tongue. When she lashed that tongue out at you, I, I, in my mind, I always saw Zorro. She would shh, 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 shh. You know, excuse my French, but something like, fuck you, motherfucker, you think you slick. <laughs> oh, don't call me with your punk ass. And this is, you say hi. Oh, hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. How you doing? How you feeling? Everybody ain't attacking you. But I'm an African American. I know how she feels. So it was Nikki. So then I went and I got the news, and just as I said, the guy walked over to her 
He said something. She said something. And he shot her. And when I used to talk to Nikki, I used to tell her what my grandma used to tell me. You can't take words back. Once they're out, and especially if they're hurtful, that hurt is out there. And you can't take it back. So you really should um, choose your words. So I'm off Facebook because, trust me, trust and believe, I'm firing up a movie up on Black Planet. Trust me, what I'm writing over there ain't fit for Facebook. But I'm not holding it in. I ain't did that my whole life. But I just ran the Black Planet. And uh, I walk with my friends in the morning on Facebook and um so I'm hot. Ooh, I'm just hot as if I was running. But to feel these muscles in my legs from just a slow walk, I totally get the Tai Chi thing. I totally get that whole slow walking build muscles. And you're wrong. I like that cardio thing, you know, but oh, I should have got more sleep. Oh, let me see if I'm connected. Oh, I'm a little slow in my connection, but I'm connected. Yeah. See, when I look over that way, I tend to go over that way. I gotta get uh, a a. Uh, a selfie stand. You'll see. I gotta get a selfie stand. Okay, the hands are good. Let's do this. Let's do 15. And let's tuck it out elbows. Squeeze your gut. Messages. Um, I guess I can check one messenger. I'm going to the computer and check one messenger. If you tell me, like, don't tag you anymore for the walk, but I'll definitely clean everything up on Sunday. But no, I ain't checking no messages. It's dangerous. Dangerous time. I can't afford to have the FBI kicking down my daughter's door. <laughs> Yes. So, that's why I choose exercising. And three companies. That was a nice paycheck. That was a nice paycheck. And I'm glad they did it. Because I couldn't see. I just couldn't see going like... I haven't gone to this doctor for a while. I knew the office staff. We kiki, we cat cat, we had a good time, it was wonderful. And one time I, I like ran to the bank, they gave me the twins, you know, I gotta go to this doctor's appointment and I, I run there and I pay my co-payment and I gotta run out and catch my bus, I can check my schedule, and hell, I got a 20. I need change. I uh, asked them, and, uh, no, I don't, we don't have change for 2050, you don't have to. So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to miss my bus, I'm going to miss my bus. So I was like, you know, um, what is my next appointment? The bus is just a dollar and a quarter. I was in Westchester. Um, K 
Can you lend me a dollar and a quarter? And everybody, including the doctor, they said, oh, we don't have a dollar and a quarter. I said, you don't have a dollar and a quarter. And they said, no, we don't have any change. How about the register in front of you? And, of course, I missed the bus. And as I'm walking in two miles, I said, is that really about your health care? If they can't even give you a dollar and 25 cents, knowing that you'll be back next month? Do you need to be shown more? What more do you need to see? And, I, of course, I stopped being his patient, but kind of soured me towards doctor. And then I became a medical biller, and of course, I found, I saw the sludge scum side of the medical field. So that kind of just validated my thing. I just, I never forgot that. Like, I was going here for like two to three years with this doctor. Kiki, hey, Vicky, see you, whoop, cock, whoop, is that the who's damn bomb, whoop. Yay, hey, Vicky, I felt like, um, um, cheers. When you walk in, everybody knows your name. I asked for a dollar and 25 cents. One dollar and 25 cents. I had a 20. I was like, hey, I just didn't want to do the walk. I just got off work. I, I didn't want to do that walk. Hey, I give you the 20, give me the dollar 25. We don't have it. Okay, change the 20. We don't have it. They never saw me again. I knew they wasn't about me at all. Hey, yes. It's beautiful, even when you're tired from not sleeping, and you wake up, and you exercise, and you're doing, you hit that goal, you hit that mark. It's a beautiful feeling. Don't forget to order I Like to Say Yes from Archway Publishing or Amazon or... Barnes and Noble, I did it! Yay! I did it! I am so tired now. Whew. I gotta go see, give me some water, take care of the dogs, and go to bed. Okay, thanks for walking with me. I am healthier because of y'all, and I appreciate it so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.